So you know how your room gets like super messy when you're depressed? Uh, if you don't know that, really, really jealous. I've accumulated a lot of stuff and I want to get rid of a lot of stuff because I hate stuff. Ugh. So... Megan, just clean. Megan, just let's just clean. Let's just clean. Also, did you notice I'm using my nice camera? Do I have sweat stains? <sighs> so this is my dresser. All of this is like comfy clothes. Those are my favorite pimple patches. This is a snake plant that died about a year ago. Like, Megan, I don't even use all of this every day. And it's like actually d dirty. This is fun. That started as like a, a basket full of um, clothes to donate. And then it just turned into clothes that I wear and I'm not donating. Oh, there's my vibrator. <laughs> And I also like just like hide mess behind there. I need to be stopped. You know, which means business. We're cleaning. Anybody else like convinced that they're gonna become fully agoraphobic once the world is uh, no longer suffering from a pandemic? If this ever ends, just me. I already have anxiety like answering the phone and talking to people in general. It's just gonna get worse, you know? It's Marie Kondo this, except I'm not gonna Marie Kondo it. But I'm supportive of Marie Kondo because you know, we're team Marie Kondo, Chrissy Teigen, not Allison Roman here. Do you get invested in that Twitter argument? I did. Did anyone care about my replies? Nope, but I did. I can like put some lip balm on. Crusty, crusty lips. I don't know her, just blend into my vase. Let's start with the dresser. Let's start with the dresser. Let's start with the dresser. Did I get distracted and have I done nothing yet so far? Yes. It's so messy, it's so messy, it's so messy. This is a, a speck of sequin glitter that is from my book shoot. Still find them everywhere. Anyone else just find tags? So I can there. Oh my god, am I getting better? Wow, my hands are out of focus. They look so fingers look so skinny. What the fuck? Oh my god. <sighs> okay, that's normal. <laughs> Ew, I just snot on this camera. Dun dun. Dun dun! Holy shite, that's a lot. Ow. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I trapped myself with a trap box. That's what we have. I want everything to have a place and it's not contingent on the fact that I haven't done laundry in two weeks, you know? Should I like really put my vibrator away? Is that like weird? I'm gonna start by making some piles. Stuff that I know for sure I'm gonna keep. For sure, no. Maybes. For sure keeping. What did I say I was gonna do? Ugh. I'm gonna start by making some piles. This is iconic. This is a t-shirt that I got in fifth grade for my birthday because my the fourth Harry Potter, the Goblet of Fire, came out around my birthday, which is August 4th. My friend Ivy, Maya, their neighbor, her husband worked on the movie. And so she gave me this. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, ILM Visual Effects Crew, 2005. Wow, I guess I didn't even realize how cool that was until now. I mean, I knew it was cool, but I guess now that I, I don't know, I have like cast and crew shirts for other shows that I've done, that I'm like, oh wow, this is really cool. Like a select few people have it, so. Oh my gosh, I've had this for 15 years. How is that possible? I need to stop aging. <gasps> oh, this is an Oh Wonder band shirt. I love Oh Wonder. I'm gonna keep that too. This I'm for sure keeping. This is a Wild Fox sweater that says, go topless. I have no idea whose boxers these are. I truly have no idea. Oh, this is an Equinox muscle tee. We have canceled Equinox. I used to have a partnership and Equinox also owns SoulCycle. The head honcho, he is like a big uh, Cheeto Man supporter and has donated, you know, like millions of dollars and like thrown like campaign parties and all of that stuff. So I um, ended my partnership with them because of that. And now I'm gonna get rid of the merch. Also my best friend Kyle used to work there. So I also have merch from them. Where's my no pile? My no pile is gonna be on the ground. I just feel like that's symbolic. What? Do I think I play volleyball? Like I'm a popular girl in seventh grade? That's not happening. A Jonas Brothers tie-dye hoodie. I don't think that they sell this as merch. I got invited to the Happiness Begins premiere because I'm a diehard fan and this was one of the um the things that they, they had at the premiere. I used to be a Nick girl. Guys, that movie changed me. I became a Joe girl. I know. First up, plain black tank top. It's just like, ugh, it's kind of tight right here. Like it just is too high. You know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean. This will go in the yes too. Can you hear that? That's my knee. Like that's the sound my knee makes when it cracks. It doesn't sound good, does it? I think I'm saying no to these because I feel like these aren't high waisted and I don't want low rise sweatpants. Like that's just an oxymoron to me. A hard pass from me, dog. Oh, 
dog. This is what I mean when I say that I want high-waisted sweatpants. Wow, my hair just looks is that. It's like a literally like a mop on top of my head. These are the high-waisted ones I like. These are from me undies. Like, I feel like I could have an entire baby bump in here. I don't even know if I can show this. This is a bralette from Toby. Does anyone remember Toby? That's so long ago. But this is a bralette that I wore in Vegas the weekend of my 20, my 21st or my 22nd birthday. It's so small now. It didn't used to fit like this. Makes the ladies look good. Do I keep it? I guess I'll ask moms. How do you like them titties? I didn't even finish putting this all the way on. I'm out. This is like a matching two-piece pajama set. We're currently watching Criminal Minds. I mean, I've watched Criminal Minds. Like that is my show since I was in like middle school, like sixth, seventh grade, but I got Mott's into it. He makes fun of everyone who wears like these like old school two-piece pajama sets to bed. And he would just call me grandpa all night and like, it's not the vibe I'm trying to catch, you know? Hopefully um, someone with the initials MRR finds it at Goodwill. Do you remember the era of ironic shirts? about kale like what was that it was after the mustache era i think kale was the response to tacos this is this is gonna be a hard pass it's literally been days also my hair has grown out so much like color wise and then i've been wearing my blue light glasses and it is giving me serious me in 2000 like 10 vibes Feel like a nerdy teenager writing fanfic all over again. As you can see, piles. I have washed almost all of my comfy lounge clothes, everything that was in there. Damn, that looks bad. So, so far, this is the whole garbage bag that I'm getting rid of. I definitely have like tracked makeup on the rug that I need to clean. Dude. I know that that was them in the video. That freaked me out. I was, that was weird. These are all of the t-shirts I already purged. Some, but now I have to narrow it down also. This is all bras kind of shapewear-ish, socks, underwear. That's a fucking mess, we're not gonna deal with that now. But we're gonna deal with this right now. This shirt, I'm definitely keeping. This is a t-shirt one, but this really should go in the closet. This is a long sleeve white shirt, good for layering, good for winter. So I'm gonna keep that, but I'm gonna put it in the closet. And then I've got some like dumb Forever 21 graphic tees. This one says, babes do it better. That's just, no. They do, but no. This one, I like still kind of like. I just like the color combo and like the font. Do I wish it was like from some cool vintage store? Yes, but I kind of still like it. it says Troublemaker. I think I'm gonna keep this one. My issue is, is that I'm not a hoarder, so I could just get rid of everything and be fine, but then I have a bad habit of getting rid of everything and then being like, oh, I have I know I'm gonna keep this shirt. I bought this in Europe. Leviosa, but it's Levi also because it's Levi logo. Friends t-shirt, I feel like everybody has this shirt. I'll keep that. Oh, I have this Disneyland shirt. I'm gonna keep that. I have two of these, one in Mott's size and one in mine. If you are from Marin, there was a radio ad that I think still plays that is like iconic where I grew up. Now you have a friend in the Shane business. In Cupertino, San Mateo, and Walnut Creek. Open weekdays till late Saturday and Sunday till five online at shaneco.com. And that's literally what the entire shirt says. My friend Seth makes these. It's fun. He also has other shirts. I'm pretty sure he's still doing that. So I'll link it if, if I can find it. I would say this is like an iconic shirt on my channel. I feel like everybody has seen me wear this so many times before. This is from Mountain Artwear. Greatest t-shirts in the entire world. I specifically got this one the way home from Aspen, Aspen Ovard's wedding. I went with my friend Casey and then we went to Vegas afterwards. So I got this at a gas station in Utah. And then this is another mountain artwear one. That's got butterflies and a unicorn. This one's like smaller though. Let's try it on and see if it's comfy enough for a sleep shirt. It's pretty fucking fire. 
This is the freakish casting crew shirt from season two. Oh, RIP. To when I had a job. And oh, my dad just sent me this. Definitely keeping this one. Hanes t-shirt. I actually just got these. I really like wearing them over bike shorts. A white one. Keeping both of those, literally just got them. This is like a long sleeve off the shoulder shirt from Cotton On that I've just been wearing as like a pajama shirt, but it's so stretched out and I'm over it. Colorado, Dakota to support, I don't know. Sports shirt, but I wear it to bed all the time. We're not feeling the USA so much right now, you know? Do we keep this? I'm gonna say no. Is this kind of cute? I can't totally tell. This feels derivative. Of what? Bra culture. Do you wear bras to meetings? First of all, f off <laughs> with that accusatory face. Not accusatory. It's yes, like, it is. Yes, it is. That is actually question. straight up what it is. That looks really uncomfortable. That looks like a. Well, does it look hard to get off? It's too many hooks for you to unhook. I can unhook. No, actually, you can't. I thought this would be like some, like, I don't know, like milkmaid fucking fantasy or some shit. Not a thing. Little Bo Peep fantasy? No. I think it was under that thing. Well, I think Little Bo Peep was an adult. Was she not? Why did she have control over sheep if she was a child? I guess children did a lot more back in the day anyway. It's all the name, Lil Bo Peep. Oh, but what about Lil Yachty? Or Lil Bow Wow? Lil Romeo? Not so Lil. He's just Romeo now. <laughs> Get a clue. Are you bored of my boobs? No. All done. Thank you for your work. How was it? Was it hard? So hard. Do people usually do this in like one day? Because this has taken me weeks. Then that's on ADHD. Wingardium Leviosa. So I just tried to close one of these drawers and it wouldn't close. And the last time that happened, it happened in my other like workout clothes dresser. And it's because things were stuck behind it. I just found one that was stuck behind it. Grace held big merch, but it still won't close. So there's another thing behind there. So let's find it. And I just have <laughs> kept the skewer uh, in my room because that's what I've been using it for. What the fuck shirt is this? Another tank top. And that's all that's stuck behind there. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, in here. It is still so messy and look at my snake plant, it's so dead. You know it's bad when you can kill a snake plant. All the shit still hiding behind there. All of the stuff up there. It's still not looking so hot. White, pink, green, all of my gray ones, all the way to black. I just realized I think there are more in the dryer. And guess what? They're gray. As of now, I don't want to get rid of any sweatpants. I have so many. Also, these are also sweatpants, but they're sweatpants that have matching sweatshirts. Some may call that a sweatsuit. <laughs> These are my pajama shorts and then matching pajama short and shirt set. I'm keeping all of them as of now. What is all of it? Please don't judge me, I'm depressed and I don't clean enough. Well, this is everything that was under there. Oh my God, I use these for so freaking long and they're actually so dirty. And then this one, I mean, this I honestly like. Maybe I'll do like a quick walk around our place to see if there's something this could be like of use for. Already in here, this is skincare that is so, so, so expired. Memory card, little keeper. And then this is an M&M. &M. Oh, I thought it was gonna be Advil. That's an E. So Excedrin. Oh God, these are diamonds too. Fuck, I can't just get rid of it. Remember the era of Michael Kors watches? Definitely don't wear them, but I feel like I should sell it. It's time for me to uh, tackle detangling.
These are my sweat sets, matching sets of sweats. I know for a fact I'm not gonna get rid of any of them because I love a good matching sweatsuit. These cute, these are from Rich or Poor. If you guys would be into it, I was thinking that once I've gone through everything and I clean everything, that I could do like my loungewear collection. Let me know if you guys would wanna see that. Shirts and hoodies and zip ups, and then that is my maybe pile. Yeah, it's just not cute, you know. It's just, it's not like it's just like, what's the point of it? And last is cozy, it's from Lulu's from forever ago. I think it's had its time, and this shape is just like not there anymore. I like the font, it's out now. I can just put them away. So I just refolded all the sweatpants, and now I fit them all in one drawer. So I have the bottom two for sweatshirts. And again, it is annoying how these like three ones in the middle kind of break it apart. I'm honestly just gonna go for ones that I wear more that's here because it's just closer to get to. And then ones I wear less often there. look like trash but i really have to upload this video and i realized that i never did an outro also because i so naively thought that i would clean my whole room in one video that definitely did not happen <laughs> so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet hit the notification bell and if you did like this like style of video like cleaning videos i realize that people do them and they're much more like zen and aesthetic and i don't know asmr -y. um and mine wasn't it was very ADHD. -y. Let me know and I will do more because I need to use some of my vanity. I need to clean that. What else do I say in my outro? Oh, I have a book, I have a podcast. I don't know. You'll click the down bar if you care. Would you like to be in my outro? Your outro? Yes. So I want to be in your outro. Hold on. Okay, holding. <sighs> hey, one sec, guys. Shut the fuck up. You nah, I'm kidding. There's nobody on the phone. What? You stinky. I haven't washed clothes in like. Yeah. I don't think you have. Well, the video's it's, over now. It's over? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, like my boss is actually calling me right now, so have a great day. Should we do a Q&A this week? Sure. Should we do that? Okay, bye.